Hey guys, Crew of Blind Way back. I'm Rick. Eric. I'm Aaron. And we are here with The Silence of the Lambs. Have you seen it? Movie reaction. No. Oh, damn it. We I, broke I, the silence. Have you seen it? I ain't no lamb. I ain't no, no. sheep. I mean, I've, I've seen the thing where he goes like a... But yeah. I've, never really, I've never really known the story. I know Anthony Hopkins is known for this. I think he do. eats people. Yeah. And I know he like has a match. He's like... I can't do it. My my mouth no, is too articulate. He no, he just he has a. I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I know it's a cannibal story, and the one girl's like trying to solve it or something. I don't know. I know her name. I don't really know. Clarice. Actually, She's I don't. Movie know. many times. I'm, I love it. It's fantastic. It's, it's it, you know it's weird. I'm trying to think like it's weird the lack of knowledge I really have of this mu movie. Yeah. Given that it's like. It's such a it, cornerstone of pop culture. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking like, well, what's the villain? Is he the villain? Well, but he's behind a glass, I know. So like, he must be caught. So there must be some other villain. I don't know. I there's a show called Hannibal that people always wanted us to watch for years and years and years and years and years and yeah, years. Yeah, that has um, Mad Dog. Is that his name? Mickelson. Right? Isn't yeah. he like the main yeah. guy in it? Is that his name, Mad Dog? Yeah. Mad. It's name. just Mad's Nicholson. Mad Dog. You thought his Christian's <laughs> name was Mad Dog. What's his name, honey? Mad Dog. The guy from Death Stranding. Yes. He's amazing in that, too. Uh, yes. Galen Ursa. Uh, so, anyway, uh, yeah, Silence of the Lambs. Never seen it, and people were probably going to be like, what the fuck? Have you not seen it? Guys, there is something that those people that have said, what the fuck, you haven't seen that mm -hmm. I'm going to say, what the fuck. Yeah. All right? That's true of everybody. Like Warriors of Virtue. That's how surf numbers surf. work. Warriors of Virtue! Never seen it. Ah, oh, and Surf Ninjas? Oh, man. All right, so we're going to watch this movie, react to this movie, and uh, over on Patreon, we have a full-length tier. You could watch the whole movie along with us if you're on that tier. Yes, and also to decide what movies we're watching, we do polls over at patreon.com slash blindwave, yep. where as long as you're uh, any patron at all, yep. you'll be able to vote in the polls and uh, help make decisions on what we're watching next. You guys ready to start? <laughs> That's not how it goes. This is like some kind of course. This is what roads were like before taxes. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe, a little, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. For sure said FBI, right? Is that what I said? Oh, that FBI Academy. Oh, so she's trying to get a badge. Man, she would be really good against the Ewoks. That looks like an Ewok trap. Why is she alone? I don't know. I don't exercise. I can't relate to this woman. She runs everywhere. So all those men are, men are gonna die. She's so tiny. They're red shirts. They're all gone! They're dead. <laughs> Behavioral, Behavioral science, science services. services. Okay, so this is like the, uh, the group of the FBI that was formed in the Mindhunter series. They study criminals, right? Uh -huh. They study behavior. Of criminals. What'd you see? Probably a bunch of dead people. No. Bill Skin Smith. That looks dead. Oh, Bill. Okay. Osmosis of popular culture. I know who this is. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, he's a psychiatrist? Well, damn. Hannibal the cannibal. Why the urgency? Lecter's been in prison for so many years now. Is there some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. And you're to tell him nothing personal, Starlet. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. And what is that? Psychiatrist. Oh, he's a monster. Oh. I love the shot of him looking right at us. Yeah, I, I love that. I love <laughs> how it's so close in on all these shots. I don't believe Lecter has even seen a woman in eight years. I told him, are you ever his taste? So to speak. That seems uh, a poor taste. Good, then you should be able to remember the rules. <laughs> what was that guy? What was that guy? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you see in the background. His mouthpiece and restraints were removed for an EKG. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to him. Took a bite of her? The doctors managed to reset her jaw, more or less. Save one of her eyes. What? His pulse never got above 85. Even when he ate her tongue. Jesus! I'm glad we didn't see that picture. Saved one of her eyes? Let me say. Ate her tongue. Ate one of her eyes. Saved one of her eyes. Saved one of her eyes. Ate her okay. tongue. Hi. That's, That's a nice looking man. Are these all cannibals? <laughs> it was the cannibal wing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at him. Calvin. That guy. That's what Calvin looked like before we found him. 
That guy's a cannibal. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> he was looking at her before he could see her. Man. Good morning. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. Man, I don't think I've ever seen him in a movie. His pupils just so young. bigger. You use Evian skin cream. And sometimes you wear a lead at all. Wait, sometimes, but not right now? But not oh my gosh! He's got a nose like Gus. The nutritionist gave me a swing for the bomb that you're not more than one generation from poor white trash. Are you, Agent Starling? And the accent you try so desperately to share, pure West Virginia. Because your father dears your coal miner, there's a stinkable wind. You know how quickly the boys found you. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the backseats of cars. Jesus. Get it anywhere. Get it all the way to the end of the How right is he? Is he right? You see a lot of fire. Damn! You got all that from that? The census data once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why does he make this out? Because it's terrifying. He knows it. He's thinking, he just can't help it. He's thinking about how much it tasted. I believe he improv that, and that was her genuine reaction. It would be mine, too. So this is Anthony. He's gonna be working with you. Ah! Look at him on! Oh fuck! Oh my god! And do this test for me. No, but I will make you happy. I'll give you a chance of what you love most. Now, what is that got? Advancement, of course. But listen carefully. Look deep within yourself, Terry Stalin. Yeah, not, not like him. Web shooting. So, because of that from Mix, he's like, go ahead, now, here's Moffat. Well, yeah, he said all that time to create this tone and have this power, and then this guy coming on all over the place. He's like, damn it, ruined my dynamic. That's what happened, right? Jesus. It wasn't spit. I'm, I don't think. It wasn't spit. That guy needs plastic. That guy, yeah, he needs a glass shield. <laughs> That's what he needs. Jumping around. That, he's got a great aim, but... He's got a great aim. Well, he, he did it in his hand, he threw it. No, I know, but still! <laughs> it's, it. it's viscous fluid. I what? You can throw it. Come through. Really, you gonna write it down? You're not gonna remember that? Dead, Starling. Didn't check corners. Didn't clear the room. Good job. Good entry. Good command. Makes us dead. Oh. Uh, why? Dad. Did he bite his wrist? For the order we heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and makes crying. Oh. Uh, bed chat would swallow his own tongue. What? Lecter talked him to killing himself. How do you do that? I don't know. He made him cry to death. How do you swallow your own tongue? You just you're so emotional. I've never been that emotional. I also do that when I go to the dentist. Trophy. Well, that's ahead. I haven't seen that One since of, another see, Anthony Hopkins movie, The Masked Zorro. I was wondering, like, they said Hannibal never kept trophies, but I wonder, like, I'm like, maybe he did keep a trophy. You probably can't get a lot of meat from the head, right? Brain? The, yeah, the brain, but that's it, right? Angry. If you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? Who can say? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. <laughs> Jeez. Do you think Jack Crawford wants you sexually? True, he is much older, but do you think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges, fucking you? That doesn't interest me, Doctor. And frankly, it's it's the sort of thing that Migs would say. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Night vision? Sam Fisher. Dude, is this bubble ability using night vision? <laughs> Kitty. Kitty. Meow. Meow. Cheep, 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 Don't ruin this movie. The cat's like, run! There's someone across the street! I can see them! I'm right there. Run! That's great. Okay. Hey, are you about a size 14? Hit him with a cast. Good. So 
So he needs size 14? Is that like his thing? I told you! Cast only witness. Are they all size 14? Circles where the girls were abducted. See, in the river too, it could carry him a little bit. You know, like. Oh, yeah, because he said they weighed down the first one, the other ones they float. Whose funeral was this? I imagine the girl who just died. I don't know. Is that her dad? <clears throat> yeah, okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I was confused. Uh, I, I was, was like, wait a minute. Guys, <laughs> yeah, really got the wrong body in here? I'm a detective. I was like, I'm assuming it's one of the girls who just died. I don't know. Ah. Uh, for this smell. Mm hmm. What is it? It's a peppermint. Oh, it's peppermint. So, was, did this say it was based on a book? Yeah. So, it's not based on like a true story or anything, right? No. Okay. They don't have any forensic scientists to do this stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that him? Hmm. Is that guy with little Bill? What? <laughs> what? That guy. The guy who ends up the bag? That was playing the organ. Does he count like the guy that was playing Bill? That's not him. Not him? The other guy. She said well, Bill and he went. <laughs> Why is the guy that played the organ in here? I don't know. He's with the police. I imagine Bill would be excited by seeing this. If it was oh, him. Oh, wow. Fuck! Oh. What is it? What are you thinking? Just pull it out. Golf ball. Like that whale in the Uh. What is that? Bug? Egg? egg? No, that's a bug cocoon. The aliens. They're aliens in this, and they're using her body as a. I don't know. Okay. Victim skin removed. This time in two large diamond shaped sections above the buttocks. Stellite exit wound level with the second and the third thoracic vertebrae. Approximately mm. six inches from the right shoulder blade. Swirling. So he skins a different spot each time? He's probably making a fucking suit or something. Like sewing it all together? They're playing chess with bugs? The beetle moves one of your men, does that still count? Of course it counts. How do you play? Ah! It is Starling? That guy looks like a weird Peralta. <laughs> Mannequins? Size 14? Is this your organ player? I don't know. I don't think so now. Is that the skin? What is that? That's not the skin, is it? No way. Well, that's a lady in a well. Good morning. Where's dog live? Uh, this place uh, sucks. Senator. Yep. Wait. What? The daughter of a senator. Yep. Is that a U.S. senator? I'm assuming. It's a pretty big deal. Every day of that week, you may walk on the beach. You may swim in the ocean for up to one hour on your SWAT team surveillance, of course. And there you have it. It's a pretty good deal. The Highland Animal Disease Research Center. Sounds charming. <laughs> yes, and now there is. Poor little Catherine is waiting. I love the way he talks. Go down. You should adopt that. People what is your it. worst memory of child? What is your worst memory? She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Now, that hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Is it a butterfly? Whoa. Yes, a moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Oh. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth has changed. Is he like releasing them? He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. Cool no, shot. A real pansexual. It rubs the lotion on its skin and does this whenever it's told. Mister, my family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. This was parodied in Joe Dirt. It rubs the lotion on its skin or yeah. else it gets the hose. And that was again. fucking the emperor from Mortal Kombat. Later. Puts the lotion on its skin. Now! Well, say it. Don't spray it, brother. Dang. It puts the lotion on its skin. Huh. Dude, the way he calls her it, like, dehumanizing, you know? 
It's that thing they throw yeah. up, calling a name, Catherine making human eyes with her. Yeah. Put the fucking lotion in the basket! He, he looked kind of familiar. Oh, jeez! That's, oh, that's how she broke her fingernails! Oh, it's right there! Uh, I don't think he's the organ player. No, Eric! No! This man's crazy! Cutting skin off! He's not sitting there playing the piano! Look at it! So, okay, he he wants literally female skin, right? Like maybe he wanted like a sex change. They wouldn't give it yeah. to him, so he's like trying to get a sex change, but he needs size fourteen skin. Oh shit! Can't open his mouth. Stand outside. He said he called the senator and that the deal is a scam. He can open his mouth, right? It's just like stopping him from biting off stuff. Identify Buffalo Bill by name. And if the girl is found in time, Senator Martin will have you transferred to Brushy Mountain State Prison in Tennessee. Answer me, Hannibal. Wait, so there wasn't a deal? That's what he said. Paul Kremler's over here from Justice. She's asking him to take over in Memphis. Ah, so they made a fake deal. Yeah. And he's making a real deal. They know that. They say he said that he could tell when you're lying. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's, that's the one I know. That's iconic. I've seen that one. Jesus, so weird looking. Right? It's meant to be like he's less scary now. <laughs> <gasps> he has his pen. Here, sir. Use mine. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he has his pen. How do you get his pen? What's it going to do with a pen, Aaron? I don't know, but how do you get it? You could do so much with a pen. He was like this. <laughs> the Joker did stuff with a pencil. What do you do, Eric? No, not the Joker. How do you get the pen? How? What? I mean, people do pick stuff up with their butt. That have, that's possible. People pick up dollar bills. I don't know why I had to ask a question immediately, but. Dollar bills with their butt. Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Jeez. So, I know. So <laughs> creepy. You breastfeed her. Now, wait a minute. Yes, I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Oh, son of a bitch. Amputate a man's leg and he can still feel it tickling. Tell me, Mom, when your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back to Baltimore. Well, not getting the I deal. Return, strongly bird, about 180 pounds. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. So did he like see that she wasn't. Oh, and Senator, her? just one more thing. Love your suit. <laughs> <laughs> so great! What performance just here? Love your suit. Well, yeah, you're you're missing all this. You get a little bit of this. These. All this physical control is taken away from him. But yeah, there's no body it. language. But he controls that scene, you know. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before your boat booted up the cave? No, I came because I wanted to. <laughs> People will say we're in love. <laughs> then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? I heard a strange noise. <laughs> Too close! Slaughtering these spring lambs. And they were screaming. And you ran away? Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again? Hmm. To that awful screaming of the lambs. I don't know. Thank you, Glory. The shot is so close. I still get chills. Yeah. It's amazing. As it was going in, it was just so uncomfortable. Even the subtitle guys, like, that. Do I cover the mouth of the eyes? It's so close. He said everything you need is in there. Hmm. He just, he just, that's his means of escape. Rubbing her finger? Yep, he just transferred her essence into her. He's gonna take over, and then now he's back, and she's gonna eat. What are you talking about? Ah. Did I, those scenes are yep. tense. Yep. 
Yeah. Like nothing's happening. You know what I mean? Like I don't know how to describe wait, it. Wait, the, oh, I, I don't know how to describe it. Just a masterful two performances. What's that? Part of the pen. These guys are not good. Oh. Uh, Oh! Oh, jeez! Damn. What are you fighting? He has none of his shit. Oh, he's mason. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so he took a bite out of his face. Didn't give him lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? He's gonna eat a guy? They need fucking Barney with his cameras. She never left Baltimore. Holy shit. Shut up. One guy's just bitch. Bobby, get there. Is that skin? How is it like a butterfly? He had to. Oh, God. Okay, you still cut him up, jeez. Man. Go. Uh. Sergeant Tate, he's alive. What? Get a hold of him where you feel his hands, so talk to him. Lecter? He didn't switch places. Put your hands on your head, did he? Kind of like his face all covered up. Need the Taking to the ambulance somehow? Like that's one of the dead cops, maybe? <gasps> what if this is the cop and he's missing his face and he put the guy's face on him? I, yeah. Like, took his skin? I know. Would that work? Johnny, hold your fire. We're coming into the car. Sure. How did he manage this? This is shockingly similar to how he got out of the prison. Mask Zora. Is it? He took the place of a dead man then, too. Yeah, that's right, 90. Pulse 84. We got him on lactated ringers running, and the patient is on 10 meters of oxygen. Jesus. Jeez, he's so smart. Dude, he is sewing skin together, isn't he? Like it's leather. Does he dry it? I think that must have been skin on that board when I was like, is that skin? Nah, nah, I can't be skin. That's stupid. When you said that, I'm like, that's 100% skin. It is, it's skin. But you said that, and I was like, I don't believe. <laughs> so he saw this woman and wanted something that she had? I still think it's skin. I don't know what else could be. Another cat. Cheep, cheep, cheep. You gonna eat the dog? <laughs> <laughs> she puts the bone in the bucket, gets a dog, pulls it down in, and eats it. Don't pull it. Yeah. <sighs> Precious. I don't know why they didn't rip it off. Hurry up there, you little shit. <laughs> got, got it. This song and singing in the rain are two I can't listen to anymore. Yeah. See, uh, he's tucking. That's a tuck. That was a tuck maneuver. He's got it tucked in there. <laughs> All right, I know this. <laughs> That's a tuck. <laughs> How do you know that? It's <laughs> just a duck, man. Mm. This guy's weird. Uh, I don't think they're in the right place. No, not the puppy. She broke her leg on the way down. I know it. She's been licking her. I thought you hurt my dog. Don't you make me hurt your dog. And you don't know what pain is. This is the most upset I've been this whole movie. Yeah. It really is? I don't know. I don't it feels know. Feels like it's tricking you. I feel like it's tricking me too. I don't trust it. I feel like Clarice. Is I like think Clarice is going around. to the yeah the lady's house. Maybe that's what it is. And they're gonna Clarice shoot some is showing bastard. up over. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They can't get us. They can't get it. us. I knew it. We watch shit for a living. Looking for Mrs. Lippman's family. There's no one here, Jack. Ain't Jack shit. Clarice. Yes. Put your hands in the bag. Don't let him in there! Oh no, 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 no! You gotta get, 
got the gun. Hey, spray, baby. Bam, 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 bam. We're gonna get him. These walls are thin. She only has like six shots. In her. She can't just spray. It's all about training the academy for. She can't. She, she can't shoot. She can shoot. You can't shoot someone running away. Uh, their legs. It was an accident. I don't know what happened, but I got him. Clear the room. There's another door though over there. You could be in there. I'm glad the dog's still alive. I'm gonna get you out of there but right now. You listen to me. I gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. No, don't you leave me here, you fucking bitch! Hey, don't go you anywhere, dog. Catherine. Don't you leave me here. It's in the fridge. I always check the fridge. <sighs> I sound like this, Eric. Doesn't matter what kind of food's in there. He's in the fridge. I'm saying, this shit would have been in the fridge. He wasn't planning on hiding in the fridge. The fridge isn't there to be hidden in. So all the stuff that was in the fridge had to be taken out of the fridge. You're gonna and feel it's like on the a ground. real fucking fool if he's in that fridge. Oh no, he is night vision, I forgot. He was in the damn fridge, Eric. Now he's moved. Bam, 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 bam. Her noise. Yeah, you're just wasting your, your bullets. Fashion a sharp stick by now. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> it's so close. I want to went to that. Top of the stairwell and cover that. It seems to be the only exit. Oh! Click. Make sure you hear it. <gasps> oh! Yeah! Oh! Face spray! Look at that. Look at the bullets. Oh! That click, man. <laughs> oh. How'd the lights come on? She shot, shot open a window. window. Oh. Under the ground. Jeez. Ooh. Bill Skin's fifth. She did police work, which is what they should have done before. <laughs> How did that, I didn't learn that? Maybe that was Hannibal. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? You have done well, Clary. <laughs> you may now capture me again. Special Agent Man, phone call. Oh, phone call. Hello. We know buddies. nobody that she knows. <laughs> no, these two. But they're here. They're here! Starling. Wild Clarice. Ah. Have the lamb stopped screaming? Ugh. After lantern. I do wish we could chat longer. Look at this hair. I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> Is that Chilton? Literally <laughs> having him for dinner. I'm having an old friend for dinner. After lantern. Is that who that was? Was that the psychiatrist dude that, or whatever? Dr. Lecter. Yeah. His rival. Dr. Lecter. He hung up. Oh, yeah. Look at his hair. <laughs> I hate to think where he got it. Yeah, sure, right? Where the hell is that guy? Where are they? Huh? I don't know where they are. Ugh. Damn. That's how it ends? That's it? He's just out and about now? And... There is a sequel. With the same characters? Yes. Mm. Crawford? Yeah. Was Stick. Ah! It was, it was Stick from Daredevil. The whole time I'm going, okay, I know that like, guy, I know his voice. And I'm like, what the fuck, who is this guy? Hmm. For some reason, that, like, like in one of the shots when I didn't he see him but I heard his voice, I thought he sounded like fucking Robocop. I'm like, that's not Robocop. Dead or alive. I'm glad I didn't say anything. Yeah. But I was no, like, I, I know like, that guy from somewhere. I was. Remember, I mean, and this is how old is this movie? When this come out? Ninety one. Ninety one. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, I'm like, man, I feel like I know him. Somebody just don't know what Almost it is. Almost thirty years stuff, old. But, yeah. All right. So that's Dick from Daredevil. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I was like, man, who is this guy? Yeah. Cool. Dude, it's uh, it's weird. Anthony Hopkins. I don't. I can't. I'm trying to think of what the oldest movie of his I've seen him in is because whenever he showed up here, I'm like, damn. Like it just he looks sure. so different. <laughs> Especially when you see him like Westworld now, you know, yeah. like putting the difference of uh, of the years, you know. But yeah, yeah. most famous role. You want a best uh, actor for it, really? Despite being only in the movie for sixteen minutes. <laughs> Man, he's only in it for sixteen minutes. Yeah, that makes sense. He's not the shortest. Uh, David Ninevin was in separate tables in nineteen fifty nine for a few seconds uh, less. Okay. But other than that, I think he still has gotcha. a second place. Wow. Damn. Uh, I mean, fantastic performance. Yeah. Because he acted on two different parts of his face. He would do his eyes, then he would act separately with what he was saying. <laughs> Dude, well, and some like, you could too, do like... this, and you could do this, and it's two different performances, you we, know? 
we've talked before, you know, about like Bane, right? You know, like what you get from him. Like he's wearing a mask almost the whole time. And also, in that same thing, Tom Hardy uh, in Dunkirk pay, plays a pilot, and he does such a good job when most of the time he's wearing like a face mask, mm. and all you see is this, really. Yeah. But like in this, like he does so much with his eyes, and like that one or so scene, little. that one scene where he's talking to the senator, and like you get nothing. You, you have no body language. Because he's strapped to this fucking th- bed thing. Yeah. And you have no face. All you get are eyes and the voice. And that's all you it's, get. And he's, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's terrifying where he's like talking, talking, talking. And then like, <laughs> you see like a crack in the mask and it's like, oh yeah, there's, there's the devil. <laughs> it's like you're looking into a tiger or something. Yeah. And like you can see its eyes go from just yeah. like looking at you to like, I'm going to eat you now. It's also amazing that his greatest weapon or the most terrifying thing about him isn't the fact that he eats you. <laughs> it's just that, well, it's just that he's so much smarter than you. Yeah. He's so much smarter than everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, his escape, I his know. escape was so good. Like, I, I, number one, I don't know how the hell he got that pit. I'm really curious. I wish I could see that. Because it was sitting there, but I felt like he was, like, strapped. Like, how did he get... And I thought it was going to be like a weapon, but he didn't. He just used it to pick a lock yeah. to then eat people. He's the weapon. <laughs> He's the weapon. I assume uh, just like the act of, like, you know, the way that he dissects people and plays with them and he sees himself as so much above them. I imagine the act of actually eating them is just the highest form of ego. Like, I am literally the top of the food chain. Like, you are so beneath me that you're cattle. Maybe. And I eat you. I eat you. But, I don't know. Just the, the way he went through, like, his plan to escape and. That was a hell of a escape. I didn't have it until, like, they're looking at the guy, and he looks dead on the top of the elevator. I'm like, yeah. did he shoot himself? That doesn't really make sense. Why would he do that? Yeah. You know, like, there's one more last hurrah. I'm going to kill two police and kill myself. You well, know? my first thought is, like, all right, you need to get a, uh, a an outfit, a uniform. That way you can walk around unencumbered. But then I was like, well, why wouldn't he take the ones off the officers there? And then I'm fucking like, oh, shit, he did. Yeah. I just don't know it yet. Yeah, and he took more. Yeah, he, he took, took his more. Face. He took his face. Like, and he, had, he, he oh. made sure it was gruesome enough that no one would be like, "Hey, hey, he's that? Oh, this, hey, man, I know this ain't you." Yeah, no. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't want to look too close because it's horrifying. Yeah. yeah. So he had like cuts on it. He's just there, and he's not talking. He's like, barely, you know, yeah. like. And we already learned before that he can control his heartbeat, mm-hmm. so it would make sense that like he could maybe fool a doctor that's just taking the pulse or whatever. It's true. Yeah. True. And then like he started like doing that little freak out episode. So, like, now it's like, oh, shit, we got to hurry, guys. We got to get him out, you know? Like, Is it that like, he can control his heartbeat or that, like, it just nothing, ex- like, he doesn't get, like, riled up? Like, is he just calm all the time, you I know? Mean, I mean, that, that would be controlling heartbeat, though, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't know. Like, if you, if you can run... Like, your heartbeat, like, it's, a, when it, 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 it gets faster the more, like, out of control you can get, you know? Maybe he's just so in control, he just has a slow, resting heart. In control beat. of his heartbeat? He's so in control. I, I just, you know, I know you can control your heartbeat with like breathing techniques and stuff, but I didn't see him like expelling the <laughs> that thing like David Blaine does. Yeah. But mm-hmm. man, I didn't see him cut the face off either. So it's so good because you know he's he's not the main killer in the movie. Yeah, no. And like when we were talking about like what we knew of it, I was saying like, well, he's in he's in a prison. Yeah. I, I know he's in a prison cell. Like that's the one scene I kind of. I've seen yeah, you, I mean, it's the osmosis you know? of uh, just popular culture, this being such a big part of it. Like, I've seen three different movies that parodied scene in this, to the point where, like, I know the next line is, I'll fuck me hard, you know? Yeah, I know that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. Put the lotion in the basket. Like, yeah, put the lotion in the basket. I've, I've heard the so hose again thing. Yeah. yeah. I've heard that one. But yeah, no, like, I was like, well, what's the bad guy of this thing? Because if he's yeah. in jail, like, what are we after? Yeah. So Buffalo Bill. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. They never really went through, like, why is it Buffalo Bill? Like, they said it was like, some kind of joke in Kansas City. Yeah, they would, because he was skinning things, like skinning a hump off of the buffalo. Uh, okay. Like, pelt hunters would just, like, kill a buffalo, skin it, and leave it there to rot. So he was trying to make a human... Dress with all the talk about yeah. like him wanting to transform and stuff. I just figured they would have figured out the whole like he's making a skin suit way before then. <laughs> Maybe, but I mean, that's yeah, how movies work. You know, you yeah. gotta, you gotta well, see things. The the FBI agent coming into this town for a day, yeah, and talking to the father, yeah, looking around, then talking to the best friend, mm-hmm. looking around, 
and then go into the her old boss. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Here's the bad guy right sure. here. You know, like. <clears throat> oh man, in the bathtub. Like that had to have been the old lady, right? Yep. Like just. Mm. I bought this house like two years ago. She's been in that tub for two years. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. Ah. Like you could that's, risk. Callum would, she was soup. Callum would lock that bathroom door. You ain't going in that bathroom. <laughs> you couldn't risk. I expect that would be the extent of what he would do. I guess. <laughs> you, you couldn't risk putting her in the river like the others, because if they find her, they're going to go to her house. Yeah. So. True. Yeah. You can't have her found at all. Uh, it, it's interesting though that he waited down. Did he wait her down then? Because well, he didn't want her to be found. And it was also his first time. Yeah. Yeah. So then, but it, to, certain serial killers, at the end of the day, like the the reason they do certain things is like there's an innate feeling they want to be, they want people to see what they. So done. then they the, want to be caught in a way. The randomness of yeah. the other disposed bodies mm -hmm. was random. Yeah. Because he was frantically trying to make sure that they weren't found close enough to him. Yeah. Right. And he's like, oh man, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. But then the third one found was the one that was waited. Yeah. To not be found when he first did it, and they just didn't make the connections to it. Yeah. And he's right on the Ohio River there. I don't know. I like the ideas of like trying to get in. Like, I think what makes Hannibal the scariest is like, sure, he's cannibal. That's terrible. Yeah. But he's a psychiatrist. Yeah. And like he's asking these questions and getting in your mind and understanding how you operate and stuff. And then he can outsmart you. He knows how you're going to do stuff and whatever. He killed someone from his prison cell in another prison cell just by talking to them. He made him yeah. cry so hard he swallowed his tongue and choked. Man. Yeah, that was that was crazy. The uh, the show Mindhunter is about the 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 guy that like came up with the idea of profiling and speaking to serial killers in order to find patterns to be able to predict you know mm -hmm. the behavioral science division of the FBI. So it was kind of cool. Like oh, yeah, I feel like I have an intimate knowledge of how this this branch got started, and then yeah. she was like wanting to be part of it, you know. Yeah. And then yeah, I mean Hannibal Lecter would be the ultimate like guy to talk to because. These are FBI agents trying to figure out the psyche of yeah. these serial killers, whereas Hannibal Lecter is a serial killer that's already figured out his own psyche and others. <laughs> we'll see, and, and everything else. Has he, though? Because that was the one thing that uh, <coughs> that uh, Clarice was talking to him. was like, okay, well, you're looking at me and just figuring out yeah. me. Are you too afraid to look at yourself sure. and figure yourself out? Like, I imagine he kind of has an idea of who he is. Yeah. But, like, how deeply has he really looked at himself, I wonder, you know? I don't know. Being a looking at yourself, I love... The camera work in this, mm. how it's so claustrophobic, and how it it, is. it makes you feel like <laughs> Clarice and like people are just dressed staring down with their eyes. Yeah, like, it's like they're staring at you. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. almost everybody. It was it was wonderful because it was consistent through her, with everybody. But when Hannibal was really literally getting into her head, the it's camera was being filled with more and more and more of his face. Like he's close, and now he's too close. And that's it what starts, makes it feel it so It starts cutting like off his head yeah. and off his chin and like getting like right yeah. here. But like during the pan in, it would cut to Clarice, which is the same angle, not moving, and then would cut back and we're further than we were. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, I lost time. He's getting too close. It's too fast. You know, <clears throat> it's so uh, I don't know what the right word is. Violating as a viewer. Yeah. But then there's so many times too. Like uh, we had flashbacks of uh, Clarice, like in the in the. Uh, funeral home right uh -huh. like going to see her dad in the casket thing and uh like while she's walking like she's just looking like directly like we're like right in front yeah like, lots of times when they do that kind of stuff like they're they're this way and we're mm -hmm. following them at what they're looking at they're looking at something over here but yeah. so much of this is like they're looking right at the camera like just look right here yeah and usually that's it's not so, what you do yeah, in a movie well it's so intimate yeah yeah usually it's always like don't look at the camera mm -hmm. when you walk by blink so you don't look at it ever you know and yeah this is so different in the way that they shoot so many of the different mm -hmm. scenes and it and was interesting in like the beginning for, for, uh, first person perspectives too yeah yeah they do some pov stuff throughout they did they did the night vision thing a couple of times and in that same scene with her walking like it's her looking directly at us and then it switches to like her point of view walking through the funeral home and stuff. And walking through to get to his cell mm -hmm. as well. It's her point of view in that shot too. I so. love that that introduction to him because the way they frame it, it's like he was watching her from when she got out of her car. <laughs> you know? He just watched through the walls. And he's just standing there waiting. Yeah, like when you finally see him, he's moving his head watching her, you know? So great.
He's like a animal in a cage. Yeah. You know? It's 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 like what a tiger or something. Yeah. yeah. Despite all his rage. I like that his uh, the punishment they gave him was uh, when you leave they'll turn it back up the gospel, which I assume is like well one it's either like this guy's like hey you're evil you need the gospel God. or they know he just hates this <laughs> maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah I I loved uh, it was such a good way through his like I don't know why he's the only one with ref- like a. M- Glass, like give that fucking mid guy. He should have had glass, you know, throwing the fucking shit. But uh, Come. the Show the shot bit. showing uh, Jody and then him leaning up, and you just get his reflection, and you're able to look at both of their faces yep. at the same time it was such a good shot. I love that it's so amazing. much. I mean, he was literally in her head yeah. in that shot. <laughs> Interesting trivia on this one. Yeah, I'm, I went the trivia. So it's the third film to ever win all the big five, the Oscars, Best Picture, but, uh, Actor, Actress, Director, and Screenplay. Mm. Poor Howard Shore. Didn't get music. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, he didn't get music. I, I really like the, the theme in this. The yeah, music so. in the beginning was pretty good, but then like I didn't really catch... I don't know, I didn't notice a whole lot of it. It was, it was propping up the story, not the story featuring music yeah. is what was doing. Uh, the rights to Hannibal Lecter were given away for free. So there was an ad- adaptation of uh, this beforehand. A 1986 Michael Mann's movie Manhunter okay. was based off from Red Dragon, which Red- is the first, of, uh, the first of four books featuring Hannibal Lecter. Isn't that okay. a movie too? There's a movie Red Dragon. Yes. Is that the is. sequel? It's a sequel to this one. Okay. okay. Yeah. It did so poorly at the box office that uh, the producer gave away the rights to the Silence of the Lambs. Mm, gotcha. And this movie ended up doing very well. Yeah. Making um, $272.7 million. You know, I always wondered why it was called Silence of the Lambs, and I like kind of the way, like, it's all about Clarice and, like, her past. And, like, she's doing yeah. this, hoping to save this Martin girl to hopefully silence her dreams and her, the lambs that are screaming all the time. I stuff. thought it, it was, was going to be more, like, uh, of a biblical meaning. You know, with yeah, Christ being the Lamb of God, and, and yeah, and then uh, being the shepherd and stuff. But nope, it was uh, just good old farming. Good old farming. Nah, you. Yeah. You guys <laughs> think bad was um, the first to play, uh, the first choice to play Hannibal Lecter. Who was the first choice? Mr. Bean. <laughs> what? Uh, don't tell me you wouldn't watch that movie. Man, I don't know. I'm trying to think back in '91. 91, yeah, so... It's probably a big name, right? Uh, it's a pretty big name. So he uh, split with Orion Pictures the $500,000 need, needed to purchase, purchase the movie rights for the book. But okay. then he dropped out. Oh, he's, so he split the money and then left? No, mm-hmm. oh, some guy with money. Sean Connery. I don't know. Sean Connery was number two. Oh, well, dang, I was close. Um, uh, Gene Hackman was number one. Oh, oh Gene, Gene Hackman. Hackman Dude, Gene thinking. Hackman, though. He's done some pretty good stuff. Mm. And then Michelle oh, Pfeiffer gosh. was the first choice to play Clarice. <laughs> Really? I could, could see that. Mm-hmm. Catwoman? Yeah. Hmm. Man, I think Gene Hackman I could picture in this. I can't picture Sean Connery. I can picture both of them. None of them as good as Anthony Hopkins. Dude, he did such a good job. And yeah. his voice, the way he... Yeah. Hello, Clarice. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It has such a monotone, but it has such inflection. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Sean Connery read the script and found it revolting, so he passed. Sean Connery does that. He makes some weird choices on his uh, <laughs> his script readings. He's like, I don't understand it, or this is terrible. And he just start taking. Oh, the rings! No one knows this. Doesn't get it. Matrix? Nah, doesn't get it. Was he in for Matrix? He was in for being the architect of the oh, Matrix. Oh yeah, that's right. And he was in for being Saruman. And he gave that up. And he gave that so up. then he took League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> because office. he's like, well, I, don't, I didn't understand those, and those got huge, so I'll do this one, and then that didn't get huge. <laughs> he's like, I'm retired. I love the things that he does with uh, almost like riddles that he's giving throughout. Yeah. And like the whole yourself, you know, you gotta mm-hmm. find yourself. An anagram. And it's yourself storage, not like she had to find herself. And yeah, yeah. the anagram of Lewis Friend, which was Fool's Gold, mm-hmm. Iron Sulfide. And I was looking at that, I'm like, man, what was she talking? She wrote Iron. Why'd she write Iron? And I was trying to figure out, like, what could it have been? But it's pretty good. I, I like yeah. that. He's just so, like, cryptic, but he's giving you the information that you need. Hey, you should be able to solve I, this. I liked how, like, I didn't, like, he, it seemed like he genuinely got tricked by the first, you know, deal. Maybe. Like, it felt like it, but then I was doubting it later. And then the second one, I felt like with, with the uh, governor, <laughs> well, I, I felt like as he was having that conversation with her, he realized before she said anything, 
she's not going to honor her deal. And then he gave her the fool's gold he, stuff. You know, he might have known that the first one was fake before. He might have. And that's why he went with the quid pro quo yeah. thing. Because he was even like, animal facility, or what was it? The uh, research facility yeah, island thing. Yeah, the like, your choice? Like, yeah. The you know, animal like, testing thing, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I just wonder if... I'm not sure. I feel like he would know. Because he also said, like, tell me the truth. I'll know you're, you're lying. Mm -hmm. But, like, maybe he, him saying that is like, hey, I, I, know. I know you're lying about this already. Well, that makes him such a great character because you have no idea what he planned and what he didn't and all that stuff. I almost don't want to watch anymore. Don't want to watch Red Dragon or anything else because, like, wait, I, I don't want more answers. I love the mystery of, of him, you know? I love his end of, like, I'm having an old friend for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> that was Jesus, funny. Man, <laughs> Uh, Hopkins channeled uh, Truman Capote, Catherine Hepburn, and Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey mm. in his portrayal. Okay. I've never seen Hannibal Lecter. Hal, 2001. And oh. it was his choice to wear white because he thought it would bring out people's fear of doctors and dentists. That makes sense. Who wear white a lot. Yeah. Rather than like an orange, orange jumpsuit, jumpsuit or something like that. <clears throat> also, uh, Lecter never says hello, Clarice, uh, despite what a lot of people think. Hello, uh, he says good evening, Clarice. But gotcha. He never actually says hello. Clarice. That's similar to like Luke, Luke. I am your father. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. What? Spoilers. You don't know what I'm talking about? There's a lot of Lukes. <clears throat> There's a gospel Luke. Does he have a father? Oh, everybody has a father. God. And then the last thing is uh, Buffalo Bill was based on three serial killers Ted Bundy, Gary Heidick, and Ed Gein. Mm, um, okay. Hannibal himself was not based on anyone. Yeah. Uh, the dance was not in the screenplay, and in order to do it, uh, the actor had to take a little liquid courage before doing the scene. The tuck scene? Oh, yeah. that dance thing? Gotcha. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get the moth thing. Like Transformation. That was, that was, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah metamorphosis. His own brand. I guess. It's very on brand. It's like, I don't know why Batman has bat-shaped shuriken. It's on brand. Well, he's not the Mothman. There is a Mothman in West Virginia. It's true. A lot of this movie was shot in Pittsburgh. There's something interesting about the moth as well. So there's a Salvador Dali photograph of a bunch of naked women mm -hmm. in the shape of a skull. Yeah. And that photo is on the moth's face on the poster. Oh, okay. I didn't... I, I saw the poster... When we were looking something up, and I'm like, is that moth have a, I thought it was a butterfly. That butterfly have a little face? I gotta watch this movie. It makes so much more sense, some of the things, because like, I, I didn't really know why the name was the name. Yeah. And I didn't know why there was a giant moth on it. Mm. You know, and I, like, it's, it's interesting, like, now having, yeah. like, some of those. Because, like, it was this thing I had on a, I, I, it was a picture. It was like, you know, name a scary movie. And there's, like, all these little hints of everything. I'm like, I don't know what all these are. And it was one of those, is like that moth thing. It's like yeah. on a light or something. And I, I was like, I don't know, moth. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but it's signs of lamps. First uh, time I saw this movie was on cable, and it was heavily edited. I'm sure. <laughs> so the second time I saw it, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. It was heavily edited? Yeah, like um, the, the whole like throwing the cum stuff wasn't in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think the head was in there. The, like him being splayed out wasn't in there. Like they took <coughs> a lot out of the movie yeah. the first time I saw it. Hmm. I remember seeing it the second time, being like, "Oh, Jesus! How do I not remember any of this?" Yeah. I like the idea that uh, Craw Crawford was like, "If I sent you in there with an agenda, he would know it." Mm -hmm. So he sent her in there knowing nothing. He needed somebody that wasn't a good liar, or maybe like more experienced. Yeah, someone with no experience. Someone Here's what you're doing: you're gonna go, you're gonna talk to him, do yeah. whatever you can. Yeah. That's all you get. You know. I like that a lot. The books deviate quite a bit from the movies, but in the book, I believe the two of them fall in love. Really? He says that in this where he's like, they're going to say we're in love. love. Yeah, so it's very, it's kind of like uh, Joker and Harley Quinn then. That way. Mm, maybe, yeah. I wonder if he did keep any trophies at all. Like, he's sick. I didn't keep any trophies. It's like, you, you ate, ate them. You ate them. Like, he ate the, well, I, for a while there, I thought maybe the head, I mean, oh man, maybe he did keep a trophy. Maybe that's what we're going to see is he yeah. has a trophy somewhere. And then it wasn't his, I guess. It was someone else's thing. I would probably say that he would think himself above a serial killer you can profile. Maybe. So he's not going to have trophies because that's beneath him. It's almost like a. It, it's not related almost at all, but it, it kind of reminds me of what how Gilgamesh feels about himself in the Fate series. Mm. 
a little bit, like above okay. all, you above know, above everything else. Yeah. I enjoy. I, uh, I I loved his escape plan. He that actor Anthony Hopkins escaped from the Mask of Zorro, but that was just a rip off of the Kind of Monte Cristo. Yeah. So it, while I love it, it's not as good. This one was much way better. I don't know. I've seen the Mask of Zorro. <gasps> what? what? I don't. I don't know. Is, is it Antonio Banderas? Yeah. yeah. Has he been Zorro in more than one movie or yes. just that one? Yeah, but we don't talk about the other. I don't remember. Captain Anthony. Love? Captain Love? Do you remember any of Whipping of Candles? Don Raphael? Whipping of Candles? Yeah. No? You haven't seen that movie. The only, oh. the only thing I remember... The only thing That's I remember, one of Bob Anderson's best sword fight movies of all time. He did Three Months of Tears. It's better. This is better. Um, the only thing I remember is, I think, a shot that you guys showed me because we were talking about it. It's, it's where the da ah! thing comes from, right? Yeah. Like, you'll never be rid of me. Ah, that thing. That's we could have had the Mask of Zorro and Poles this whole time. Well, it's probably just me. Everyone else has seen it, right? We did I, the room. I've definitely seen it. But yeah. What a fun movie. Is, is that before or after this movie came out? After. After. after? Is this yeah. like Anthony Hopkins' first role? What, what did he do before this? This is... Uh, he did a serial commercial. Is this like his standing role, like when he's really got, like, he's yeah. known now? He was in the first Trickster for Kids commercial, I think. Let me look. What? <laughs> Why was he in that? For <laughs> kids? But he was real young. I was trying to think of a kid thing that like kids could do. So I went Disney Channel, but then I hesitated, so I went Trickster for Kids. I surprised you didn't go to Aaron. He was Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a lot of, like, Shakespeare TV movies and stuff, but <clears throat> this was probably his breakout role. Gotcha. Yeah, I wonder if he did, like, stage stuff. I saw this video on Facebook where it's Tim Curry, and he's a pirate king, and he's singing in this, like, play. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. He's so young, <laughs> and it's Tim Curry. Dude, check out videos now of Anthony Hopkins, like, jamming out to metal. What? He has, like, a selfie camp, like, shot, and he's just going, like, ah. Like, now? Yeah, that's like, awesome. Not, like, in the past, like, today? Like, he's old? I can't say that and not show you. <laughs> It's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. And is this it, isn't edited, this is real. Is it real? Yeah. Yeah, but you can just put any No, of it. it's real. How do you know? What he the does, hell? He does it all the time. He looks so much like Malcolm McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> it's just moving all over the place. His eyes are just so big. What's the noise? <laughs> That's what would happen if they never caught Hannibal Lecter. Eventually, he would just do that and send it to Clarice. But you ain't got me yet. <laughs> That's so crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this movie reaction, make sure you subscribe for future movie reactions. And also make sure you guys go to patreoncom blindwave where you can find full length to watch the entire reaction uh, of this movie and all the other ones, as well as voting for future movie polls and help us decide what we should react to in the future.